What's going on everyone? So this is lead code number 547. It's called number of provinces. And this is a pretty tricky problem, um, but but with careful examination, um, it's actually not too bad. It's, it's not as bad as it initially seems, but we'll, we'll work through it. Um, okay, so number of provinces. Let's take a look at the prompt here. And you know, this is a question that is also very popular. It's making the rounds. You can see in the last six months it was asked at Amazon, Goldman Sachs, Dropbox, Two Sigma. So it's a good one to know, and it follows a, a pretty pretty common pattern. So um, it's good to be familiar with this. Okay, so there are n cities. Some of them are connected, while some of them are not. If city A is connected directly with city B, and city B is connected directly with city C, then city A is connected indirectly with city C. A province is a group of directly or indirectly connected cities and no other cities outside of the group. You're given an n by n matrix is connected where is connected of i, j equals 1 if the i -th city and the j -th city are directly connected and is connected i, j equals 0 otherwise. Return the total number of provinces. So example 1, we have 1 that's connected to 2 and then three, which is not connected, and our input is is connected one one zero one one zero 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 one. Okay, so the tricky part about this is really understanding how this is obviously a graph problem, but it's understanding how we decipher this. How do we get one, two, and three, and how do we kind of decipher it from what the inputs are? So the way to think about it is uh, first you want to um, understand that they're using one two three but we're using indices here to represent the graph so you just want to subtract subtract one from all these numbers so it it maps to uh, the inputs here so we can see that index of zero is going to represent this this city right over here and the index of zero inside of this this array here is going to represent a connection to itself okay so one is connected to one and that's connected to itself. Index one is going to represent city number two here, and that is connected. So we're in the zeroth index, which is mapping to this node right over here. And it's saying that the first element there, or the first index, is there's a connection there, and that is mapping to this right over here. Okay. And on the third one, uh, there's no connection, so there's a zero. And again, over here, we can see that we're in 0, 1. We're in the first index of this uh, array. And in, in that, when we map that number 1 to the number 1 inside of this array, it's always going to be a 1, because any city is always going to be connected to itself. But it's also connected to the 0th city, which is this city right over here, but it's not connected to city number 3, which is represented right over here. Okay, and again over here, we're, um, it's 0, 1, 2. So the third or the second index is going to be connected to itself, but not to the first two cities. And you may need to stare at it a little bit for it to make sense. It took me a second to really kind of make that connection, um, but once you do, it's 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 quite clear. And again, we can see here, you can notice that the zeroth index mapping to the zeroth index here will be a one. The, zero th the first index mapping to the first index of the inner array is 1, and the second index mapping to the second index of the inner array is 1. But again, there's no connections because these are zeros here. Okay, So we can see that the, um, the output is 3 because there's no connections. Okay, So this is, this is very similar to a uh, number of regions and other lead code problems. And once you kind of have the pattern for that, you can just really make some minor changes of how do we represent this into an adjacency list. Number of regions gives you the edges, and you have to convert that into an adjacency list. Uh, and the same thing here, we just need to convert this input into an adjacency list, and then we can just run a very, uh, like almost a template um, for any type of graph problem that's asking for regions. Okay, so let's get into it. So first thing what we want to do um, with any of these graph problems is is we can use depth first search or breadth first search. Uh, we'll just do depth first search for this um, just because it's, it's a little bit cleaner. But we go ahead and create 
uh, our visited array. It's actually an object. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and build out our adjacency list. Okay, and we'll have a helper function do this. List, and this will be is connected. Okay, and then we have our provinces. And we'll set that to zero. And then we're just going to traverse traverse the graph. OK, so we'll do four let vertex equals zero. Vertex is less than length vertex plus plus. OK, and then what we want to do is uh, we want to check have we have we visited this particular uh, node vertex. So if we have not, if we have not visited this, again this is visited, then we don't do anything. Um, but if we, if we have not visited, then that means that we are in a province. So we increment provinces, and then we just do a depth first search. Okay, and we'll just toss in the vertex. And visited. And then we'll go ahead and return our provinces. And this right here is a very common pattern. You, you want to get like a pattern like this almost memorized. So when you see any problem like this, you can immediately just go to that template that, and, and use that pattern. Um, and so what we're going to do next is then we just we just want to go ahead and build out our depth first search algorithm here. Okay, this takes in a node uh, adjacency list. Okay, and then our visited. Okay, and so what we're going to do here is first we want to add where the node to the visited. Um, the visited uh, object. So we can do visited of node is going to be true. And then we just traverse through uh, through this graph from from the input node. So we can do for let neighbor of list at node. Okay. And then what we want to do is if we have not been at this neighbor, then we're going to go ahead and first we're going to add this to the visited. Visited at neighbor is going to be true. OK, and then we just um, call our recursive depth first search on neighbor. visited. Okay, and that's all we have to do for depth first search. We're not returning anything. All we're doing is we're updating this visited hash table here. And, um, and every time we traverse through through this graph, it's if it goes through the entire graph, that means we've hit every single node and everything's connected. If it doesn't, then that means we're moving on to the next node and we have a new province. Okay, so we don't need to return anything from this. And then what we need to do is we need to build our adjacency list. And this is where it's tricky. This is where this is where this problem can 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 throw you off. OK, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to build uh, this helper function here, build adjacency list. OK, and what we have here is we're going to add in is connected so we can put in our uh, edges and then we can have an N and we'll just um, set that to edges.length. Okay, and with the adjacency list, uh, again, this is all part of a, uh, um, a template, a pattern, so we can just create our adjacency list. Okay, and then here we just want to create an array.from, and then we'll do a length of n, 
and uh, toss in an array into each one of those. And all we're doing here is we're creating an array of length n, which is the length of is connected here. And then within each element of that array, we're going and uh, putting in, uh, setting it to a new array. So you want to use this syntax right here to make sure that every element is a is its own array and not the same array. Um, that's important because if not, you'll you'll get bugs. Okay. And now what we want to do is for we want to iterate over um, our edges. So for let i equal zero, i is less than edges dot length i plus plus. Okay. And now what we want to do here is we want to get the um, edges out of each edge. Okay, and then we want to set that to the adjacency list. So we can do adjacency list at index i dot push. We use the spread operator here and we'll say get edges, it's another helper function, at i, that'll be the index, and at edges of index i. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll return the adjacency list. Okay, um, it seems a little tricky, but it'll make sense once we code this out. What we're doing here is we are filtering, essentially filtering out the the edge that is mapped to um, uh, whichever node it's at. So for example, we're at node zero. We want to filter out this one. We don't want to. We don't want to. Um, have a reference to that. We want to just make sure that we put in the indexes that are not part of um, what index that it's mapping to. I know that sounds a little confusing, but it'll make sense uh, once I code it out. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll write our third um, helper function here, and this is for um, get edges, and this will take in an index and uh, an edge. Okay. And so what we want to do here is we'll create a return array, which will be our edges. Okay, and this is what we'll return. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to iterate over these edges. Okay, so we want to do for let uh, i equals zero, i is less than edge dot length i plus plus. Okay, and now what we want to check is if this i if this i is equal to this index that we're inputting right here, which is this i right here. We don't want. We can just continue. We can skip. We don't want um, that value. So we can say if idx equals i continue. Okay. The other thing is is we want to check if edge at index i is equal to zero, we can also continue. Okay, because again, we don't, this is not a connection here. So if it's zero, then we can skip that. And then the last thing is, and this is a little bit um, with the edges here, we want to push in i. Because remember, we're mapping the index of this. That's the actual value that we want. We want the index of this inner array, right? So if we're here, we want the index one. The value here is one, but that's just representing a connection. The, the, va the value that we're actually interested in is the index of this, of this inner array. Okay, so we push that i into edges, that tosses back our edges, maps to the adjacency list, and, and that is it. Um, I know there's a lot of helper functions here, but it's good to do it this way because this really breaks up the code and um, and, and it, let, it allows you to keep everything organized rather than writing like one crazy function in the main function. It can get a little, um, can get a, a, a bit, you can get a bit of a spaghetti uh, when you do that. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, let's see here. What is the issue? Build adjacency list. Uh, const reference error build adjacency list in our sign. B U I L D. Okay, got a typo there. C B U I L D B U I L D adjacency list. Okay, and there we go. And it's got pretty good runtime. Uh, it's pretty fast, and um, 
the space complexity is, is not bad either. So that is number of provinces.